All right, welcome back, YouTube. We got uh, another deck today. We got Unholy Death Knight. I haven't played uh, this specific uh, Death Knight in a little bit, or at least Triple Unholy. But we're playing the the Death Growl with all the you know the fun little eggs and all their Death Rattle stuff. Um, and you know we just play like any other normal uh, Unholy Death Knight. We just you know play aggro, take value. We have the Yelling Yodeler in the deck as well as Magatha because the only spells we play in the deck are Death Growl, so we're more likely than not going to be drawing. Or, or we'll also grave strength. Forget about this. So we only play four spells in the deck, um, which you know there's pretty high likelihood that we uh, we don't draw them. Um, we have our Marogar here, and we also have Sylvanas and uh, Hollowhound for the deck. Uh, so let's try this out. Hopefully, you get some interesting wins with this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Psychosocial Seven. It's fun. Mm. Those little sidekicks pretty solid to keep. Oh, something kind of realized I forgot. So this is undead, and so it could also get the buff too. That's kind of nice. Uh, I think the skeletal sidekick is fine to keep in hand. Okay. We would really like to see the arm arm dealer and all the eggs. But what can you do? I don't really think I want to play this on turn one, but I think we might just play it on turn one just to play a minion here. This is probably <clears throat> the uh, enrage warrior. I'm assuming it's pretty popular right now. <clears throat> okay, I got an early Marogar. It's nice to see. Uh, we'll probably play the Chilfon Baron here and probably into Nerubian Swarm Guard over the next couple turns. We also might play a School Teacher on turn four, depending on what they play. With Enrage Warrior, I could really go one of two ways. They either have all the stuff they need in hand, you know, start, you know, making some big plays and making some big guys. Oh, and it seems like they do. Um, I would say, or they don't, and they just there. It takes a couple turns for them to actually build up their um their game plan, basically. Ooh, there's one Falag. Nice. Well, that being the case, I'm probably going to play the school teacher here because I need to find a way to deal with the extractor here because this guy could get out of hand if you're not able to deal with it right away. Oh, I also did make a mistake. There is also a play extract in the deck as well. So there's six spells in the deck. Um, but Magatha will still be fine. I don't love that. Can I see Death Growl? Because we could do some pretty crazy stuff with the Death Growl. Uh... I'm going to play the Hawk Rancher into one of the Fallow Eggs now. now at least we get the buff so we can do something with this. And I really don't care if they remove the Hawk Rider. Uh, yeah, the Hawk. Or, yeah, the Hawk's Rider. Then turn five, we'll probably play this and hope that we find something that will be able to remove this right away. You even bump there and trade. Are you gonna double trade there? Oh, do you got a fire spell then to make it go uh, summon it back? Oh, seems like he does. It's kind of bad. Jam session. My goodness. Okay, we need to find like a obliterate off of this. All of that. <clears throat> we really need to obliterate here. Man, and light, light the Phoenix too. Goodness. Well, Hollow Hound's a card to see, but we need to obliterate here. Oh, that's perfect. That was a very lucky uh, <laughs> chance of getting obliterate there. <clears throat> but he still has, shoot, I don't know how many buffs he's gotten on everything here, so we, we're, we're more likely not going to be able to deal with everything he gets here unless our Marogar gets really big. Um, or, you know, the one Hollow Hound that we have in the deck will do it. 
But, oh, well, that's fine too. I don't mind him just taking a turn and doing that. We're going to head behind the Swarm Guards now. Ooh, there's a visor though. I'm Okay, I'm going to draw first and then play the visor here, depending on what we draw, of course. Okay, Arms Dealer, yeah, that's fine. I mean, we literally have a handful of guys. We're going to pick Harmonic Metal for sure. Because <clears throat> even, even getting the buff on this thing here would be insane. Okay. Draw a guy. That's fine. The seven now. We need we need more stuff to die. Ooh, and now we're trying that's a four or five. Okay. So we're at turn seven here, so we could actually make this cost five. Not bad actually. <clears throat> but I think I might play the the uh the sonnet metal first and see what gets buffed. Cause if we get this buff, that'd be pretty crazy as well. Uh you're gonna attack with that? You're not really gonna get a buff on anything. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Cool teacher? Sure, sure. Oh, and we got it. <laughs> okay, okay. It's a 5-6. Okay, we'll poke here. Get down up to 4. You know, I might just play this and just drop down all these here. Because that's 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, but we're not able to remove this. Oh, no, we can trade here. Yeah, no, I'm okay doing that play, I think. Actually, no, I'm going to play the Swarm Guard here. Hiding behind the taunts are pretty important, I think. We have the Hollow Hound with seven attack. I think we'll be able to be fine against whatever he has in his hand. And we're also going to be able to restore quite a bit of HP as well. So I think we're, I think we're set, actually. <clears throat> oh, never mind. He has a uh, Remora. <laughs> uh... Well, he's able to, you know, add a bunch more to it, but... Or not add a bunch more, but, you know, um... Get rid of the taunts. Uh, do we even have any other taunts? Uh, oh, do we just play this? This might just be... Oh, no, he has exactly 16 damage. Okay, well, let's see what we get off the school teacher here. He trades Rush. He can't hit again. Cold Feet slows him down quite a bit. But is it... No, Blood Tap. We, we don't want to Blood Tap because we want our corpse to be as big as possible. Take me, take me. Reach for the sky. We'll do this. Because what he, he'll do, he'll uh, go face. He'll summon down. He'll, he'll train to something. He'll wait a turn. He's more likely than not going to play something. And then we can play the Hollow Hound and restore a bunch of HP back. I was tempted to pick the Blood uh, Tap there because getting the Hollow Hound even bigger is pretty insane. And then also getting these to have an attack stat. It's not bad, but I want the Marl Guard to be our... Um, if he's able to deal with all of this on top of, you know, everything that he has in hand and a Hollow Hound, we don't want to deal with... Uh, we, we want this to be our finisher because he's not going to be able to deal with this. They don't run Brawl on that list. Actually, I'm going to double check that before that bites me back. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't run Brawl in uh, an Enraged Warrior here. Um, yeah, no, most lists do not run it, so we should be okay. But he just buffed it up a bunch. That is scary. Oh, you brought it down to two? Okay, sure, sure, sure. Um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. As long as he doesn't have another one of those, we should. Oh, that's a good card to see. Is it the right thing to play this, though? Does he have a chance of playing like Remora? Or not Remora, the um, six cost one. It's, there's potential for that. 
Oh yeah, I forgot we get the buff of that. If that's the case, I'm gonna drop down these then. Okay, well... Uh... Oh, we already played both of them. We're fine. I don't think you'd have four damage then. Unless he has like a Gromish, but he already played the Sanguine's Depths, and so that's not gonna work. Then our Marogar next turn, if he goes gets through all of this, which I highly doubt he will be able to, I'll have 16 corpses on it. So the Marogar should be... Oh, shoot. Maybe he does. Oh, that is lethal. Darn it. I forgot that uh, stuff was buffed in his hand. Man, that was close. It would have been right to play the Swarm Guard there then, if that was the case. I didn't think he had the Gromsh in hand. Dunk Master D. <laughs> okay, Mage. Ooh, Arms Dealers. Sidekick. I love all that. Yeah, I like this hand. Give me one of the eggs. Oh, we got the Nurbian Egg. Perfect. Oh, and the Yelling Yodeler. This is the perfect hand. And we have the coin too. I like that. Oh, do not like that though. <sighs> I don't know. What I'm thinking is we play coin and then buff it up, but he's just going to arcane bolt this and then he might just poke into it with that. So I don't love that play at all. I'll wait. I'll do it next turn, so I'm not spinning the coin to do that. <clears throat> I'll do this play. Turn three, we could drop down the Nubian, uh, Nubian egg. Uh, turn four, play this, and hopefully trigger this a bunch and get a bunch of four fours. And, you know, if we happen to top deck a Death Growl too, I'll put it in the middle. Okay, yeah, he, he did exactly what I thought he was going to do. Uh, ooh, Cosmic Keyboard, okay. Hawk Ranchers, okay. Play this. So if he didn't do that and we top decked the Death Growl, I would have played the Nubian Egg in the middle there and, you know... Spread the uh, the death rattle, and then I would have played the yodeler or the yelling yodeler. Trigger those effect a bunch of times. Be sitting pretty. Uh, but as long as he does remove this, we could trigger this twice, and we'll get two four fours. And then if he removes that one, we'll get another four four. So pretty aggressive. I'm not really sure if we should actually keep this in our opening hand if that's the case with like certain matchups. But since we had the egg. I think it's worth doing. That's nice too, because we'll be able to contest the 4-4 there without a problem. We have the coin, so we can't coin out a Deathborn and, like, you know, do some sh shenanigans with uh, the skeletons and everything like that. Um, we also do have School Teacher for next turn and potential to do something crazy with the Noggling as well. I can also see like the Stereo Totem being a good card in this deck too because we have a lot of like, you know, eggs in the deck that could like be useful for the buffs as well. Same thing with the Nurubian Swarm Guard, like getting a 2-2 buff on that's really insane, especially like having this on turn 4 with that buff is pretty crazy. Did he like rage quit? Why is he taking so long to make his decision here? He more likely than not has a blizzard for next turn. Cold case? Oh, alibi. Okay. Um, I don't love that, but I mean, that's okay. He's going to trade. Oh, did he not get to trade? Hmm. Okay. Anybody? 
I like gaining the corpse here. But trade there. Trade there. Trade there. I'm gonna go face here. I don't really want to send him for a deathborn turn or even a, a freeze, so I'm gonna leave this here. I'm not gonna do anything with these. Because the moment he starts, you know, cycling the deathborns and getting a bunch of them and doing all that stuff again, we're not gonna win. That's really the only thing we do. Yeah, Blizzard here. Yeah. That's why I casted a hard strike here so we could, you know, deal with that. Oh, there's Magatha. I'll go for another school teacher here. I like the frost strike. We get a really good uh, frost spell from that. Poke into it. It's fine. Uh, he's probably going to trade here and then go for a deathborn, which I'm not going to love. And when that happens, we're probably going to start losing. Um, yeah. Even with our insane opener, with getting the four fours early on, he had the solid alibi there. Oh. Mm, that's lame. Uh, we'll play the Hawk Rancher into the Swarm Guard here. That at least contests a good amount of the damage. Um, yeah, it's really the only thing that we can do here. Um, I mean, we could coin out one of the Nogglings, but I really don't want to. Uh, maybe it is a good thing to do that. We'll go for a Frost Strike here. I mean, Remorseless Winter here is pretty solid, right? We we'll only have one spell here. Yeah. And yeah, we'll also get the buff there. And we also have another Deathborn in hand. Uh, he was able to copy one of those, and oh, it was the Deathborn that was copied. Created by Volume Up, yeah. So he, has an, he for sure has another Deathborn in hand, which is unfortunate. So we could like trade there, trade there, and then play it again, and then we're probably, you know, screwed for the rest of the game. We're not gonna be able to deal with all of it. Um can play Magatha here next turn and hope that we draw a bunch of minions. Oh man. I don't know, I feel like the meta is kind of stale right now. I'm not really enjoying the Hearthstone as much right now. Compared to like Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, we probably just go face with everything and play Remorseless Winter here. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And hopefully that hits everything else. And not, you know, our face. Yeah. Uh, I don't really want to plenty of this. So we'll just pass for right now. That was the other Deathborn. He just, or no, that was the, the real one. So there's a chance that he drew another one. So. If we could like top deck our Marogar here, that'd be lovely too. We're sitting with 19 corpses. He's already played one Blizzard. <sighs> See, and that wasn't something that was created by the um, volume up. So that was a card that he drew here soon. Or he drew over the last couple of turns. Okay. Okay, I think it's probably a Magatha turn here. Or it's the Hollow Hound turn. I like that. Actually, I like it with this. See, that's 12 HP back. I'm fine with that. Oh, I'm such a good card. Really, really insane card. <clears throat> okay, Marogar. I need that. I need to. I need to play the Magatha here. I need to stop putting it off. Because the chances of drawing Marogar is like there if we because we're drawing five cards and we have two, three, four spells in the deck still. So you know. Oh, I don't like that. Rewind is bad. And he discovered Rewind? What did he discover that from? Was that from Infinicize to Maxitude? <sighs> Did 
Judging by how long that took, yeah, it was created by that. I don't know if you like the thing that he got there because he just took a little bit to pick. It's not like he's played anything that was bad. He's played an Arcane Bolt, Rewind, Solid Alibi, and all these spells right here. So, oh. Don't love that. I think next turn what I do is I Plague Strike. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'll Plague Strike there. Trade that way, and then I am going to play the, the Magatha here. Oh, he just gets both my Grave Strengths and my Death Prowl. Okay, well, you're going <laughs> to let him burn a card. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, please make it be something useful. Please. Uh, heart. Yeah, heart. Uh, actually, I'm going to do it now. We'll get more corpses for that. Don't love that hitting that. Oh, is this like DJ Manastorm Mage? Am I actually playing against that right now? Oh, that might be bad then. But getting the tail end out of the way is not too bad. Come on, where's our Marogar? Uh, we need that card. Arcane Defender, really? Oh my gosh. I need Marogar, top deck of the year. Please, please, please. If we get Marogar here, we could actually, you know, deal with that. Oh, Palag. That's actually not too bad, actually. We'll spread it. That deals three. Reach for the sky. Rise. Pick me, pick me. Yeah, it's already a lot there. We're not going to be able to do anything with that. <sighs> Man, to think that three of our cards that we drew were uh, spells felt kind of bad. But they're necessary spells to play. I feel like. Yeah, it's fine to freeze that one. You go face, sure, sure, sure. We don't have any other lifesteal in the deck, which is a problem. Is that a fireball? Or pyroblast, I mean? Yeah. We don't have any other way. Yeah, we... <sighs> this is bad. He probably has... Well, that was a copy then, right? No, it wasn't. So that means he has a second one. Yeah, it's right here. We lose. Oh my goodness. He didn't get the combo off. We just didn't have... We didn't draw a Marogar. We're sitting here with 32 corpses. Oh my goodness. It's unfortunate. Ah, darn it. 